Sammy, just apologise. What have I got to be sorry for? I'm looking out for you, telling it how it is. No, you're not. You're offering your opinion, which is unsolicited and wrong. Come on. He just spoke out of turn. You know he's not good with words. He seemed pretty articulate when he was character assassinating me earlier. You think you're better than us, like there's some nobility in poverty. You're just a bunch of petty criminals, so don't you dare try and take the high ground with me. Nate should have given you a good kicking, never mind your poxy car. Nice. You're not good enough for my sister. You're married with a kid and you're a liar and a cheat. She can do way better than that you. That is enough. I'm happy. Why can't you accept that? You keep falling for these posh boys, but they've got no spine and they just they just mess you up. Why have you got such a chip on your shoulder? Because one minute it's Andrea and the next minute it's Abel. You, you don't know what you want. I made a mistake, OK, but I put things right. You broke her heart. Now you're trying to turn her against her own family. Look, Bill is an adult, but none of you seem to see that. She can make her own decisions, can't you? What happens when he gets fed up here, like he did Andrea? I won't stand by and watch. So don't, then. Look, nobody's forcing you to work here, Sam. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. In fact, you know what? Go on, get out. You're fired. Now we see your true colours. Don't like hearing the truth so he gets rid and he'll do the same to you next. Where do you get off talking to us like this? All right. She's going to let him sack us for standing up to him. You've brought this on yourself, Sammy. Jamie's right, just get out.